Thanks to Hostinger for sponsoring this video. Are you looking for a reliable and affordable VPS hosting? Hostinger offers an exclusive Black Friday deal on their VPS subscription plan. You can get a 12 month VPS hosting plan for just $6.99 per month, which is a whopping 63% discount. But wait, there is more. You can also use my code, which is code with Ari, to get 10% discount on top of the discount that Hostinger offers. Don't miss out on this amazing offer and take your website to the next level with Hostinger's powerful VPS hosting. What's up developers, it's Dari here and welcome back to the 5th episode of my Laravel Livewire video series where we will be having a look at how we could work with actions. Actions in Livewire are an essential feature that allows developers to handle user interactions and perform server-side logic without refreshing the entire page. Now we have already defined a very simple action in the previous episode where we have said that once a user adds a name, clicks on the new task button, a new task is created through the save action. And technically, that's all you need to know about actions on a very basic level. Now let's see how we could extend our action by adding an alert confirmation for a user when they try to create a new task. So inside our button component, we're gonna define a second action, which is right after our wire click, named wire colon confirm. Now the wire confirm directive in Laravel is used to display a confirmation alert to the user before performing a certain action. When the user triggers an action that has the wire confirm directive, Livewire will display a confirm dialog with a specified message. Well, a message that we have to define. So let's set it equal to a string of, are you sure you want to add this task? A user can then confirm or cancel the action based on their intention. Now behind the scenes, the wire confirm directive is called as an event listener because it allows you to respond to various types of user interaction. And the same actually goes for the wire click directive. Out of the box, LiveWire supports a total of seven different event listeners. So let's actually navigate to the browser and test this out before we cover the other five. Let's navigate to the browser. Let's refresh the page and let's try to create a new task named task five. Click on new, where you will see that we have been prompted with an alert saying, are you sure that you want to add this task with a typo? Let's say okay. And as you can see, it has been added. And let's actually navigate back and get rid of my typo right here. All right. And the third event listener is the wire key down directive. The wire key down directive in Livewire is used to listen for keyboard events on an element. It allows you to define a method on your Livewire component that will be triggered when a specific key is pressed. So let's say that once a user clicks on the enter of their keyboard, the task needs to be saved. So we basically don't need the button. So let's actually quickly delete both click directives that we have. Then inside our task index for our input, we're gonna add the wire colon key down and I'm actually gonna navigate to Google Chrome for a moment, open the documentation and click on actions where you actually will, where is it? See the key down options that you have available right here. So dot, so dot shift, enter space and so on. So let's navigate back to PHP storm. Well, let's say dot enter and then it needs to trigger the save method inside our task index right here. So let's navigate back to Google Chrome, localhost, start typing, let's say task six. And if we then hit enter, you'll see that it has automatically inserted our task. Now the next event lister that I want to show you is the wire column key up, which we could also add inside our input field. So instead of saying key down, we're gonna say key up and we're gonna keep it as it is because the key up directive is used to listen for the key up event on an element. So it will basically trigger when a key is released on your keyboard. If we leave it as it is right now, it will basically trigger the save method every time we hit a key on our keyboard. So let's give it a try. Let's navigate back to Google Chrome. Let's refresh it, or let's say T, and it has already added a row for us. Now let me actually navigate to PHP Storm, quickly connect to my database, so let's say MySQL, where are you? All right, root, Dari1234, and my database is hosting our LifeWire. Apply, okay. 
I just need to clean it up a little bit because I don't want to scroll every single time. We have a new task. All right. Now, what we could do next is right after the key up, say, well, whenever it triggers the zero on my keyboard, it should save our new task. So let's navigate to the browser, refresh it, say task two. But if we hit zero, you will see that it has triggered it and it has saved our new task. Then we have the wire mouse enter directive. And the wire mouse enter directive is a pretty cool directive because it is literally used to listen for the mouse enter event on an element. Now you might wonder when this will be useful. Think about the use of a directive when you want to create interactive elements that respond to mouse hover events. To use the mouse enter directive, you specify the method that needs to be called in your Laravel component. So let's say that instead of saying wire key up, we're gonna say mouse enter, and it's gonna trigger once again the save method. If we navigate to the browser, refresh it, hover over the input field, and right here, you will see that the save method in the live wire component has been triggered, where the user mouse pointer enters the boundaries of the input element. Now I want to wrap up this video where we talked about live wire actions. In the next video, I want to have a look at how we could use flash messages. If you do like my content and you want to see more, please hit that like button. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.